Hello, good morning everyone. We are the group 4. By the way, I am Julian Glotario, first presenter, followed by Hannah Krista Dieto, second presenter, and Cherwin Dalla, last presenter. Today we're going to discuss lesson 5, which is the indigenous science and technology in the Philippines. At the end of this lesson, the students should be able to discuss the concept of indigenous science and discuss the contribution of indigenous science in the development of science and technology in the Philippines. So are you ready? Okay, let's start. During the early times, Filipinos tried to invent tools and develop alternative ideas to explain the world around them. This system of knowledge is called indigenous knowledge, which is the foundation of indigenous science. But first, what is indigenous science and technology? When we say indigenous science, it refers to the traditional, environmental, and cultural knowledge. For example, traditional healing herbs and other plants. While indigenous technology refers to the technological knowledge associated with our ancestors who originated and developed the art of using natural resources and this passed on from generation to generation. For example, rice terraces. Before, Ifugao peoples retained water by constructing walls and dikes made of compact soils and stones, whereas today, UNUISP and UP proposed a system that provide fast water supply to rice terraces and improve livelihood of local farmers. Now let's move on to indigenous knowledge system. This knowledge is embedded in the daily life experiences of young children as they grow up. To transmit the cultural knowledge in their minds, their parents and other older folks served as their first teachers, and their methods of teaching are indeed very effective, since the lessons that they learned are intimately interwoven with their culture and environment, which comprised of good values, life stories of people on their daily life struggles, their views about nature, and their reflections on their experiences in daily life. In other words, indigenous knowledge are taught and practiced by indigenous people. Now here are some examples. Protecting winter conditions and seasons using knowledge in observing animals' behavior and celestial bodies. For further explanation, these are the common behavior of an animal before it rains, which believed by our ancestors, such as frogs who croak louder before it starts to rain and birds who fly low usually mean that it will rain soon. Fact or coincidence? Some animals and plants can protect the weather, but sometimes it just might be a coincidence. For herbal medicines, Bayabas, Lagundi, Malungay, Niyugniyugan, and other herbal plant leaf are commonly used in practice to treat illnesses and diseases. Then we have indigenous preserving of foods. As you can see in the pictures, these are some known ways in preserving foods. Classifying plants and animals into families and groups based on cultural properties. Preserving and selecting good seeds for planting by separating every seeds in the sack. Using indigenous technology in daily lives, like for example, Ant Hill, a workshop that specializes in hand woven fabrics and crafts. It operates through multiple weaving communities throughout the country. Building local irrigation systems, classifying different types of soil for planting based on cultural properties. Producing wines and juices from tropical fruits. As you can see in the pictures, these are popular in producing wines and juices in an indigenous process, especially here in the Philippines. And last, keeping the costume of growing plants and vegetables in the yard. Indigenous science. It is a part of indigenous knowledge system practiced by different group of people and early civilizations. It includes complex arrays of knowledge, expertise, practices, and representations. Also, it guides human societies in their innumerable interactions with the natura milio, which includes agriculture, medicine, naming and explaining natural phenomena, and strategies for coping with changing environments. Next, 
According to Kahete, in 2004, indigenous science includes everything from metaphysics to philosophy and various practical technologies practiced by indigenous peoples, both past and present. And then in 2003, Lacarino elaborated this idea by explaining that science is a part of culture and how science is done largely depends on the cultural practices of the people. Moving to the next slide, indigenous beliefs also develop desirable values that are relevant to scientific attitudes, as identified by John Stone in 2000, which are, first, motivating attitudes, which means motivating people by influencing their thoughts and behaviors. The second is cooperating attitudes, which means willing to work with others. The third is practical attitudes, which means it is concerned with material facts and actual events. The fourth is reflective attitudes, which is all about understanding. Therefore, these cultural beliefs can be a good foundation for developing positive values toward learning and doing science and in bringing science in a personal level. Pawilin in 2005 explained that indigenous science knowledge has developed diverse structures and contents through the interplay between the society and the environment. According to Kuhn in 1962, Developmental stages of most sciences are characterized by continual competition between a number of distinct views of nature, each partially derived from and all roughly compatible with the dictates of scientific observation and method. CBC in 2004 also pointed out that indigenous science provides the basic of astronomy, pharmacology, food technology, or metallurgy, which were derived from traditional knowledge and practices. The last part of indigenous science, Pawilin in 2006 developed a simple framework for understanding indigenous science. Accordingly, indigenous science is composed of traditional knowledge that uses science process skills and guided by community values and culture. The concept of indigenous science. In indigenous science, it uses or applies science process skills such as observing, comparing, classifying, measuring, problem solving, interfering, communicating, and product. The second one. Indigenous science is guided by culture and community values such as the following. The land is a source of life which means it is a precious gift from the creator. Next, the earth is revered as mother earth which said it is the origin of their identity as people. Continuously, all living and non-living things are interconnected and independent with each other. Also, human beings are stewards or trustee of the land and other natural resources. They have a responsibility to preserve it. Lastly, nature is a friend to human beings. It needs respect and proper care. The third one, indigenous science is composed of traditional knowledge, practice, and valued by people and communities such as ethnobiology, ethnomedicine, indigenous farming methods, and folk astronomy. The indigenous knowledge system of the people serve as the foundation for the development of indigenous science. These include beliefs and practices ranging from different areas such as health, environment, peace and order, agriculture, food production, astronomy, music, and literature. Additionally, even before the time of the Spanish colonization in the Philippines, various people and communities already practiced science. They invented tools and built structures, studied the medicinal uses of plants, observed heavenly bodies to predict seasons and weather, and used indigenous science in agriculture.